guys, it's Issa. I am. Let me get my lights better angled. Okay, I am going to just mess with some chaos casting resin. Uh, so far I have Actually, this is not casting resin. Duh. This is the art coat resin. KS Liquid Art. The next layer that I put on is going to be casting resin. Okay. So... I have a very thin layer in there already, and I um, got to put some gloves on. And I have a butterfly that I made out of a mold. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to speak up because a lot of people are saying they can't hear me. So when I'm editing the videos, I can totally hear myself. So I'm assuming that others could hear me, but I guess that's not the case. So I'm going to try to speak up. So don't think I'm yelling at you because I'm not. But I made these, this little butterfly, I'm sure you've seen it in a couple different videos. It's from this mold. I actually got this mold from Mary's Glitter Magic on Etsy. Um, so it's got copper and turquoises in it. So I have a couple little resin heart molds too. This is just stuff that I do with leftover resin so that I don't waste the resin when I'm on another project. You just use your molds, fill them up, and then you can do other stuff with them. So this first layer is just going to be clear. So I'm just going to put this butterfly in there. I'm going to push it down. Try to make sure I don't have any bubbles underneath it. Guess you don't ever know that. I stand up and make sure I'm in the center. Just eyeballing it. Um, Just put that right there. And then this one. Uh, we'll go the same way. Come on, bubbles. So off of this wing, and then off of that wing. Uh, 
Oops. And then I'm going to let this cure a bit. Let me pop some bubbles here. I'm going to lift it up and see. This is a clear mold, so. I can kind of cheat and see if there's bubbles underneath it and it actually looks like there are some under this one. So I'm going to pick it up and then lay it back down again. I think that's as good as it's going to get. So it's not looking right. I guess it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because I'm probably going to be doing some alcohol inks on it on the second layer. All right. So yeah, it's just going to be clear. So I'm just going to the rest of my resin in here now. And they don't have to be totally covered because it's going to be another layer. Right, I'm going to get my heat gun out and pop the bubbles. Oh, I want to get my mask on. Hang on. Okay. So I'm not adding any pigment in it, but I am adding heat to it. just to pop the bubbles. And then I'll be leaving the room until it cures. Sometimes your heat gun just isn't enough to get all the bubbles. And I really, really hate using a torch on molds. Let me try my little lighter. Dog here. Thank you, Koja. Hashtag 
husky mom. Am I the only one that thinks there's something super satisfying about watching bubbles pop with a lighter? All right. I think I just dipped it. I did. Dipped it right in the resin. So I'll just let this sit for about 20 more minutes. And then I'll pop them again. And I'll bring you back on the next step. See you in a few. Actually here than me. So yeah, it's just clear little butterflies. All right, I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, just a little side note. It still hasn't cured, but being me, I didn't think that it should just be clear. So I went ahead and I sprinkled some blue silk. It is like mylar glitter, like cut up holographic cellophane. It's from Franz, Glitter and More. So I just sprinkled some. Um, the resin's pretty thick, so it's not going to sink. It's just going to stay there on the outer edge or on the back edge. So, um,. Alright, I just wanted to let you know that I couldn't keep my fingers off of it, and, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll see you in a few guys. Okay, guys, I am back. It's been about, oh, three hours, and, uh, it's still, it's still bendy, but it is cured enough to see how it's still bendy but it's cured enough that I can go ahead and put another layer on it um so this is what it looks like so far this is going to be the back so we're kind of designing it upside down to where this other side is going to be the front so I decided to go with a dark background. So I am using Black Pearl by Larez Expressions. It is a gorgeous pearly black. Hence the name, Black Pearl. And then I've put a little bit of this Milky Way uh, it's got a green shift to it from Larez also, the Glitz and Glam line. It's called Milky Way White Green. So I've mixed those two together. And came up with a color that I would love my car to be. Look at that. That is a uh, pretty cool color. All right, so let me get over there. All right, so hopefully this turns out 
how it looks in my head. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. So, okay. Basically, this is, we're just going to pour this over. Just wanna make sure this is good and mixed in. And you don't want the little bits of mica that haven't dissolved. All right, now this, the first layer was KS Liquid Art. I used it because I, one, wanted it thick enough to be able to hold these um, embellishments in place without them kind of floating around because this is pretty liquidy, the casting resin. So, uh, and two, because to be honest, I grabbed it and it was the first in. So, it works for the first Part. I mean, it would work to go ahead and cover this too, um, but I guess I'm just going to see if the two, this might be a little experiment too, if the two, the liquid art and then the casting resin bond to each other. So, and the casting resin is a slower cure. So it doesn't get as hot um, right away. So it's good to use in molds and stuff because other resins will heat up and get super duper hot. So sometimes your resin, you know, your, your molds might get damaged from the heat. So I like to use casting resin. But I also like to use the other because sometimes you need that thickness. Like if you're doing a geode coaster, you can't really use this thin. Oh, here we go, guys. I hope this turns out in my like it does in my head. Um, but if you're doing a geode coaster and stuff, you want those lines um to stay so if you're using a casting resin see how liquidy this is your lines are just gonna um spread out so i guess it just depends on the product and the project that you're gonna do sometimes on coasters i want it so super duper thick so I'll use the liquid stone um, and that's the uh, KS resin it's called liquid stone it's like for um, countertops tabletops but it's super thick so with it being super thick they're you really got to babysit it with the bubbles. Casting resin also is pretty good because there's pretty much no bubbles. Well, I guess it depends on what casting resin, but... Ooh, look at that. Talk about the perfect amount, right? Alright. So if you could see close up, you would see that the bubbles were coming to the surface and just popping.
I'm not sure if this matters at all, but I don't like the design that is in it. So I'm just kind of It'll disappear anyway. Plus this works the bubbles out. Sometimes it works the bubbles out, sometimes it creates more. Don't like plain and resin though, right? Here I will write my name. <laughs> All right. So, I don't want to use my torch on the mold, so I'm going to heat it with a heat gun just to help any bubbles. it lay flat so that I can tell where there's a piece of dust or something in it. So you don't want it on high. And you don't want it like on super hot. So I, this heat gun has a up and down for the um, heat. So I just basically have it on warm right now. You get your resin too hot. It's going to end up starting to smoke. Because essentially it's boiling. <laughs> And then you're breathing in all them nasty ass toxic. Oops, speaking of that, I didn't put my mask on. It's okay, I'm not gonna heat it no more and I'm leaving the room. Cause it is past bedtime. So. I don't know why. Seriously. Boy, these two colors together are pretty fantastic. I might have to do something else with these. Like, again, paint my car. Can you epoxy a car? Wouldn't that be something? All right. So we'll come back um, tomorrow. Because I'm going to bed. I will show you a close-up though, not that it's anything really to see, except for that color. Let me pull you out of here. Oh, let me shut off this light. Seriously, look at that color. Those two colors together are like magic. Well, yeah, I'm going to be playing with them again. Oh, what the hell just happened?
All right, guys, I'll see you when it's time to demold this and see what's going on. See, the design's not going to stay. That's what I'm saying with, this is a prime example. When you're doing geode coasters or things that you want to, to hold the line, like if I wanted these designs to stay, if I did it in like an art resin or a stone resin, those lines and stuff would stay but because it's a casting resin it's gonna it's gonna move because it's so liquidy so yeah but it doesn't matter because that's going to be the back I was just making the designs because it was fun so uh, I'll see you guys when it's time to demold hey guys we're back for the unmolding so, I guess I'll do it from this side so you can get close ups. I'll put my light right on it. So, this is the back. This was the that awesome color. See how, remember when I did all the. Oh, let me zoom you out here. Oh, yep, back in. Remember when I did all the designs with casting resin? It does not hold your design. But this is, I will be doing something else with this combination. That was the combination of these two the res pigments, black pearl and Milky Way, the green, white green. I might do like my angel molds and like dust them with some mica. Okay, let's not talk about future products, projects. Okay. Peel it out. It's uh, I'm wearing gloves because I could still probably put my fingerprint on it, so I didn't want to fingerprint it up. So here's the back. Here's the sides. Oh, please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. And here it is. Oh, look at that. It's not ugly. Oh, the shimmer. From that Milky Way green, it looks like it might have... It shows up way better on this side, doesn't it? Like it's more black here, but it's like it's separated. Ooh, I like that. So pretty. And it like looks like I can just go and Pick this up because I put the clear down first. All right. Cool. All right, guys. So, just another way you can use your little embellishment molds that use up your leftover resin. Use them and put them in other art projects. I likey, I likey. So, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. And come join us over on our Facebook group, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. Um, if you're looking for a group that has a uh, a bunch of great people in it. 
um, lots of help. Uh, there's acrylic, resin, mixed media, all that stuff over there. Um, she nicely poured with Tammy and Lisa. I probably already said that, but I'll say it again. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. Alright, guys. Here's a little short video. With my flash on to show you how... Let me shut these off. To show you how sparkly and cool it looks. <laughs> I really like this. It looks so 3D. And these are other little molds that I've made um, with leftover resin also. The heart and then I use the same mold that's in this and I just attached it to the heart with UV resin and put a bunch of crystals on it. So, and then the lotus flower mold I have. But this is so cool. I love the background. Alright guys, there's your close up. See you on the next video. Bye.